First yard sale with stuff dreams are made of. Those might be the best two yard sales I've been to back to back, like ever in my seven years of doing this. Good morning, you guys. I'm off to garage sales. It's the best time of the week. And the one that caught my eye is like a community sale in a really nice area of the valley. So I'm gonna head there. They said in the ad, Patagonia, Lululemon, North Face, I mean, say less. I'm gonna go and let's see what cool stuff I can find. Crossing my fingers. Right out the gate, I'm spotting some hunter boots, which I think is a really good sign as to what these people buy and the kind of clothing and shoes that they'll have. Hunter boots don't sell for what they used to, but it's still a decent flip depending on the price that they're wanting. Marmot is a great brand, especially their soft shell rain jackets, their outdoor jackets, full zip. These are all great. Viore, one of my favorite brands to sell. So right away I'm seeing like a lot of outdoor brands and a lot of high-end activewear that I'm really excited about picking up. Now this isn't smart wool, but Stoic is still a decent brand. It's merino wool, it's a pullover. I think it should sell just fine. This was exciting because I love free people sweaters. If I don't keep this myself, it should flip for like 40 bucks. Cloth and Stone is an anthropology brand. This should sell for at least 20. So I'm seeing like really good brands and pretty good prices for everything as well. Spanx, still a very consistent seller for me. As well as Athleta, I'm always picking that up when I see it at yard sales, especially when it's just a dollar or two. I don't always pick up BCBG, but this was brand new with tags, retails for $78. I thought it was kind of cute, so I figured let's just see what happens. Dolan's another anthropology brand. This is like a textured open front jacket, it's the Gwyneth jacket. I'm seeing comps around $30 to $40. Say Femme is a brand I hadn't really heard of before, but these like big wide overalls should still flip okay, 15 bucks maybe. Another anthropology brand for just 75 cents, this is a Kemi and Kin and it should sell, I see a comp on Poshmark for like 30. And then we have another Marmot. This is the Minimalist jacket, it's a full zip, and I'm really excited about this. Crossing my fingers that they're not priced too high. And this shirt is a men's shirt, it's 100% linen, and when something's linen, I just pick it up, almost regardless of brand. Oh, yeah, well if you have like a bag, this is yeah, we have so a bag much great stuff. For sure, maybe set it here and then I can start like okay oh, are you oh, on yeah. everything for sure i do okay. yeah yep. so okay yeah maybe you could just start adding for me thank you over in the hat and purse section i spotted this felt hat it's vans and it looks basically brand new comps seem to be around 30 bucks and then i spotted this pebble beach leather golf pouch and i thought it was really nice i looked up the prices and this seems to be like a 45 dollars retail bag next to it was this michael kors bag this is like a vintage hobo slouch bag Super excited about that, grabbed them both. This for a dollar, I peeked inside, it is a Madewell leather laptop sleeve. And this retails for 88 bucks, and it was just a dollar. Next to it was just this little wallet for 50 cents, the brand is Andar, and comps seem to be like 40 bucks just for that. Over in the kids section though was the mega jackpot with the Patagonia. Okay, oh, yeah. and then these. These two? Okay, perfect. And Holly, what's. Oh, this is 30. This is a. 30. Yeah. Everything reverses. It's, it's so, so cute. Rad. It, it's, I have a baby, and so okay. I'm like, oh, these are so cute. Well, Holly, what's this? Were, it's, it's a, a wallet, 50 cents. Whatever. Okay, perfect. So I didn't know, I wanted to make sure you knew that these ones are a little bit more expensive. Yeah, no, that's okay. This one's 30, this one's 75. Oh, 75 for yeah. that one? So I don't oh, know. Okay, we'll pull that out then. Okay, okay, okay perfect. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's 133. Okay, awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so Take much. Care. Have a good day. You too. I forgot that I need to drop these off at the storage unit. <laughs> Whoops. We will figure this out. All right, so the first yard sale was stuff dreams are made of. Like, I was so happy. I saw that they had good stuff right away. And once, the, the thing with guard sales is once you go through a few of the clothing items, you're like, okay, I get a sense of where this person shops. And it was clear that this person shops at like all my favorite stores to resell. So, um, got this little Vans like felt hat. I don't see tons of comps on eBay, but I see a comp on Poshmark for 35. Well, someone's trying to sell it for that. You know, this could be more in the $25 range, but it was only what, a couple bucks. So this is Viore. I love selling Viore. It's one of my favorite brands to find because it retails for a ton. It's expensive. It's very popular, really high sell through. Everything I've sold from Viore has sold super quick. So yeah, thrilled to find this. This is their women's pullover hoodie. And I think this could sell for like 45 bucks. This was, I was so excited to find this. This is for a dollar. 
I'd buy that for a dollar. A Madewell laptop sleeve, and this retails for $88. I see resale anywhere from $35 to $55, so I'll probably sell it somewhere between there. I couldn't believe it for just a dollar. They overpriced a few things, but some of this stuff was just more than worth it. So at this yard sale, I went to the kids section because I was like, I have a feeling they're gonna have Patagonia for kids, which sells so well and so fast. And sure enough, they did. These are like these little reversible Patagonia pants, fleece lined, so it has this on the other side. Um, like this pattern here with the jacket and like a removable hood. The resale value is around $100, maybe more for both of them together. It's just the cutest thing ever. It does fit crew. So let's try it on him and see if he likes it. Chloe, do you like your new outfit? Yeah? Oh, kind of? No? <laughs> Could not believe my luck at this first yard sale. In this neighborhood, I'm in like outdoor activewear heaven. So outdoor research, an REI brand, I absolutely love to sell this. This is a soft shell Valhalla jacket, should sell fantastic. And then Patagonia, you guys know I'm always gonna pick that up. This is their torrent shell jacket. How much are your jackets? Does it just depend on each one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do the, the Patagonia one for like $7. Okay, that's not good. And then- I do 15 for that one. 15, okay, that sounds great. Over here we've got a hammock. I thought this was really cool. Um, should sell for like 25 bucks, but I did pick it up for my kids. And then I love finding climbing shoes. So these were an instant pickup. Okay, and then how much for the shoes and the- Wow. Shoes. The shoes are 40? They're brand new. Okay, okay, no worries. I'll put those on, <laughs> no problem. And then how about the hammock? 10. Okay, so that's 32? Yep. All right, so the second yard sale in that little neighborhood, we have this outdoor research jacket. I paid 15, but outdoor research is sold at REI and very expensive. Um, and this soft shell jacket should sell for around 75. And then this Patagonia, but I looked it up and comps are around $100 for this and I paid seven. So they wanted $40 for those shoes. And she said those are brand new. Was it just, okay, you guys tell me, was it just me or did they not look brand new to you either? <laughs> I wanted to almost say something, but I didn't. I was like, all right, like, you keep them. Um, but I do like selling rock climbing shoes. Still, I was like, these, there's no way these are brand new in any <laughs> I don't know, okay, you tell me. Anything in specific you're looking for? Uh, I'll just be browsing. I'm looking for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> do you have a price on the Wii or? Yeah, all of it is 200. Okay, do, oh, anything, can I do like a game separate or? Like, okay. Sure <laughs> okay. I was drawn to these UGG platform shoes like a beacon pretty much the moment I stepped on that lawn. They do need to be cleaned up, but I have a lot of optimism that I can clean them and I think that they will sell. Fantastic. Same with this Athleta skirt. This is the Cosmic skirt and it's the newer style. So this actually sells for like 40 bucks. Then I spotted this North Face backpack. I mean, you guys, my dreams were coming true. This is a North Face Borealis bag, a Fjall Robin bag. I mean, I'm like, is this for real? So much great stuff. Then I headed to the racks. This material felt nice. Sure enough, I see the size tag. These are Lululemon. These are the fast and free tight in the free spirit ice gray pattern. Some free people. I mean, you're getting the vibe of what these people shop for and I'm so excited as I keep going through the racks and finding brands that I like to sell. Free People, Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is where Free People is sold and this is like a little silk dress. I thought it would sell fantastic and then I spot more Lulu. These are the speed up shorts and I've actually already sold these in my store for close to $40. So excited about that. We have another pair of speed up shorts, this time in like a teal seafoam blue. And then another Lululemon tank top. This is like a layered tank top. I'm forgetting what it's called. Oh, there's the comp. It's the No Limits tank. <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover after the fact. And then another strappy tank top from Lululemon. So what is that, five pieces of Lulu at this one yard sale? I just hope they're reasonably priced. Yeah, and you can start like adding it up for me. You said okay. back there too? In the, yes, on the gym? Okay, that. all right, awesome. Is that Razor scooter for sale? Yeah. Okay, how much were you thinking for it? How, okay, Ten? did you say $10? Yes. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, my kids will die. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Do you do Venmo? Yes. Okay, perfect. So they're all three each. Okay. And then this from my mom, and I think she wanted like five. That's fine, yeah. And 20. Could you do 15? 
Yeah, we'll do fifty. Okay, so sixty-two, right? Can yeah, I pay? Yeah, you can just do it all. Okay. Yeah, you can do it. Perfect. Too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, thanks so much. Yeah, you too. Okay, am I openly weeping? Because I feel like I might be. Those might be the best two yard sales I've been to back to back, like ever in my seven years of doing this. What? And the prices were so reasonable. Oh my gosh, bless you. We are officially in my favorite territory. Like, I, I'm speechless. What a great haul, and I cannot wait to see what it all adds up to. Like, I wasn't adding it up in my head, but I think we scored huge. Okay, the one after that, the Lululemon yard sale. Let's just call it that. I was so happy when they started telling me the prices were like two, three dollars. Oh my gosh, because usually when you come across Lululemon at a yard sale, they're like 10, 15, 20, people kind of price it up, but these girls were just the coolest. They were like two, three dollars each. So like the backpack, the North, let's start there. The North Face backpack, this was three dollars and this should resell for like 60. Um, I do need to kind of, again, I'll use grandma's secret spot remover. I'll let it soak and then I'll scrub it off. This should be clean as a whistle with just a little bit of elbow grease. And then we have this really cute little free people dress. This is another, I don't know, 20 bucks, 25? Some Athleta, that's fine, but there were five pieces of Lulu. These are, I th okay, I'm going to, I don't think these are the hottie hot short. I'm gonna look up the style name, but the shorts sell really well, so we've got pink and blue. These should sell for like at least $35 each, so that's $70 right there. And then these are the Fast and Free tight, the Lululemon Fast and Free tight. They are the 25 inch. These alone should sell for like 50 bucks. A Fial Robin backpack, which these always sell for a ton for me. This should be at least 35, maybe more. And then this skirt, this is the Athleta. Whenever you see like the style name printed right on it, you know it's newer. So like a newer style from more recent years. So you see how it says right below it, the Cosmic skirt. Comps for this are around $45 because it's very recent and very new and I guess trendy. Along with all that stuff, we have just hundreds of dollars here. I am so thrilled and so excited. Also these amazing platform disco Uggs. I looked these up and I, I need to go back, but I do have to scrub them down here. These alone should sell for like between 50 and 75. Um, because they're so unique. These platform mugs are super, super trendy. So thrilled to find that. Yeah, that was a fantastic yard sale. And you guys know, I got the Razor scooter for TJ and here's his reaction. <laughs> okay, TJ, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> okay, ready? Close your eyes. Uh, okay. Golf clubs. Here you go. Oh, sick. I know, right? Whoa. Guess how much I paid. Dollar. 10 bucks. But I think it looks really fun. Just it's cool. <laughs> yeah, isn't that fun? You know what's funny? This is way bigger than the one I used to have. Oh yeah, yours was yeah. really tiny. So this is like a proper Whoa. one. Now we're at a church sale. I don't know how it can top the last ones, but let's see. Whoa. Hi, good morning. <laughs> good, how are you? <laughs> is this it? I can look around? All right, thank you. <laughs> so not a lot going on in the clothing section, but this stat pack backpack totally caught my eye. I look up comps and I see like $200, $300. So I'm thrilled with that and I need to do more research and see what's up. Isn't that a great pop up? That is so cute. Oh my gosh, my son would love that. Just this Perfect. Okay, so I think you said the, this is 15. Three, two, two, so another, so 20, 20. Why don't I give you 25? Because you're raising oh, you're money, right? Best. Oh, Thank no you. worries. Oh, I'll get the sharks one too, if that's okay. Absolutely. Oh, fun. My kids will love that. All right. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Hey, you too. Okay, we cannot forget this enormous bag. This is stat packs and it, I always look at the bag section. I love hiking bags, but I knew that this had to have some kind of like medical EMS type utility. And sure enough, it does. This is like, I, I looked up retail. This is a $300 pack. Once I get it all like tidied up and cleaned up, it seems like it was hardly used. This should sell for like 150 bucks just on its own. That blows my mind. Um, so really, really happy with this. I mean, $150 plus $1 million shipping because this is huge. It's the best time of the day, you guys. It's treat time. I think I deserve a huge treat because, oh my gosh, we found such good stuff. So I'm gonna get the fattest Diet Coke ever and a 
really huge cookie because again, I, I really deserve it. Now, I didn't get to go to as many yard sales as I usually do today because TJ's working like all weekend. So I told him I'd rush home and then we'd tap out and swap positions with the kids. So it's, it's how it works sometimes, you know, it's a balance. But yeah, I think I, I think I nailed it with the few yard sales I was able to go to. I must look like the most insane hoarder when I pull up. They must think I'm crazy. Thank you. Look at how, this is insane. I know, I know it's insane, but it's delicious. I know, I have a problem. We have a problem. This is, is this like a gallon? I feel like this is like a full, like three quarts. Oh my gosh, but does it hit? Oh, it's so good. All right, I clearly have my work cut out for me. Uh, I've got some photographing to do, but I'm so excited about it because I just did the math and you guys, this is over $1,500 in sales today, just from one morning going out to garage sales. I'm over the moon. I'm so glad you joined me. You guys are the best luck. And I appreciate you more than I can tell you. Please don't forget to subscribe. It just means the world to me. Riff and I work really hard in these videos. So if you wouldn't mind tapping that subscribe button and the notification bell, you'll get notified every time I have a new video. Thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.